There is a scientific consensus around the world that climate change is real and deserving of a serious policy response. That consensus has led governments to establish objectives for reducing carbon pollution. In Canada and elsewhere, climate change is already costing us. With more intense floods and fires and other extreme weather events, and with costly impacts across the Canadian economy. Now we can choose to do nothing, but our inaction today will just mean more expensive policy actions later. Canadians do care about climate change, but they also care about the economy. This is a tough issue, and until Canadians are presented with a solution that makes sense for both the environment and the economy, they are not going to put this at the top of their list. Carbon pricing is that solution. A carbon price works by putting a price on the thing we want to reduce, carbon pollution. It harnesses the power of the market and it gives people the flexibility to make choices in a way that will reduce carbon emissions. The alternative approaches, inflexible regulations or subsidies, end up costing the economy far more. Carbon pricing produces two types of economic incentives. The first is that it leads households and businesses to change the way they do things in a way that reduces their carbon emissions. The second is that it leads businesses to develop new and cleaner technologies. The common view of carbon pricing is actually kind of funny. In their daily lives, Canadians respond to price changes all the time. Yet, for a carbon price, some Canadians continue to believe that it won't change any behavior and therefore that it will just be a tax grab. But the evidence is different. The evidence shows that these kinds of price changes will lead households and businesses to change the way they do things. The beauty of a gently rising carbon price is that we can reduce carbon pollution in a way that's best for the economy. Carbon pricing is currently working in North America. BC has a carbon tax, California has a cap and trade system. Both systems have reduced emissions and maintained strong economic growth. Carbon pricing works best when people avoid it. You might drive less and over time you might buy a more fuel efficient vehicle or maybe an electric vehicle. You turn the temperature down in your house but over time you buy a smart thermostat or maybe re-insulate your basement. The second part of the carbon pricing package is how governments choose to use those revenues. And this is super important because it influences what economic benefits you get from the overall policy. Governments have many choices and they need to choose wisely. It's true that Canada is a small part of the global problem, but Canadians don't want to be free riders. They want to be part of the global solution. Carbon pricing works and everybody likes something that works. Check it out at ecofiscal.ca.